Hey, what's going on, fellas? Um, so I went to a trade night, local trade night at a card shop and had a really good time. Um, want to do a little bit of a recap. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'll play a video of me opening a surprise pack. Uh, so right. let's see, let's see what I got. Um, out of the bargain oh, bin. This is a $30 random, random graded card. Um, <laughs> a trade night in my local card shop. Let's see what I got. All right, here's the front. So, oh, Victor Robles batting negative, refractor 10. Awesome. I was hoping it was baseball because I don't collect football or or anything else so awesome that's cool right all right so uh that was the video uh as you can see um it was it was thirty dollars i don't know if you saw that on the envelope thirty dollars for the surprise pack and essentially it was a graded card um uh, mostly psa tens and nines and what i got was a victor robles uh re reverse negative uh, psa 10 from tops chrome so pretty stoked with that. It was that was pretty cool. Uh, I was at least wanted to make sure that I got a baseball card because um, <clears throat> there was a lot of basketball and football cards in there as well. And uh, you know, if I got something like that, then I would I would just end up you know selling it to to someone else. So at least it's something that uh, I would keep in my collection. Um, profit wise, I'm not sure if I'll. Well, you know, be plus or minus the thirty dollars that I spent, but uh, it was cool. Um, so these cards right here is an interesting guy. So I live on a Marine Corps base, and uh, the guy approached me because uh, he's seen my activity in some of the in the uh, Facebook group. Um, it was pretty cool, and he told me, "Hey, I, I work at the uh, I work in in the PA, in the store there at, on the base." Um, so I'll have to I'll have to go looking for him. See, uh, I may have seen him before. I just didn't know. Pretty cool to know that he's a he's a card collector and and we share some stuff in common. So, um, but he had posted some cards and one of them I said I was interested in and so he, um, he brought these cards in and and uh, I'll go through them real quick. So this is an Ornalis. Um, I think this is a Sky. So it's to four ninety nine. Uh, Michael Bayes to 125. I've heard it pronounced Bayes, but it looks like Baez, so kind of throws me off. But this is his first Bowman to 125. Chrome, pretty cool. So Jacob Nix auto. Um, he's out right now. I'm not sure what's going on with it, the plan for to get him back. But Francisco Mejia to 49 and Adonis this year. And got a couple of these, but always, always looking for more. Uh, Luis Yoris, first Bowman. Manny Margot, purple Bowman rookie. Uh, Anderson Espinoza. I got all excited when I saw the red, and I thought it would, you know, be the typical one to uh, number to five. But uh, these seventieth are not uh, numbered, as many of you know. And this is the one I commented on: Alan Hansen uh, autograph. Uh, so. What he did, I think, so the three, maybe maybe these three here, I said, yeah, I'll, I'll give you 10 bucks uh, for these three. And he said, um, you can have them all. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, very, very nice of him. So I'll, I'll definitely look for him at, uh, at the store here on base and, and chat up, chat up with him and stuff. So update to my Fernando Tatis collection. I got uh, three, so I pulled one in um, a jumbo pack. So I got two jumbo packs, and here were the results. As you can see, I got a, uh, a Rizzo to 50, Pink Mother's Day, and uh, the rookie uh, up, up there is actually a variation. So that one's an, uh, a short print, code 3-1 on the back, and um, yeah, that was it. So, and then obviously the Fernando Tatis up there in the corner. So pretty stoked about that. Those two jumbo packs and the Rizzo pretty much, I think pays for the packs. The packs were 13 bucks and I think I can probably get about 20, 20 to 25 for the, for the Rizzo. I'm shopping it around on Instagram with these ads and a couple cards that I'm shopping around. If any of you are interested in any of this stuff, I don't mean to make this my, 
my store, but uh, you got a couple of couple of things for sale, a couple of autographs for sale that uh, I was holding off on selling until after trade night, but now um, I'm trying to shop those around. I got them off a of Facebook fire sale, and some of them I paid a little bit more than what I'm asking for, so kind of living and learning through my mistakes. Uh, some stuff is just not going for what I thought it was, and I pulled the trigger on some, you know, more mid-end cards, uh, just like this Chapman right here. Um, I wouldn't move the camera over, but it's a refractor uh, autograph Chapman. I want to pay? I say I paid about eighty for it, and yeah, it's, it's going for like sixty-ish, if that. So. Kind of got burned there, uh, but I'll just keep it. I think I think uh, his stuff's gonna gonna go up. But if you guys are interested in any of that stuff that I flashed up there, let me know. So I also opened a couple of packs, and uh, they're in the store. And I bought a couple packs. So I'm gonna go through these packs that I bought: a jumbo pack and two um, two hobby packs. So I'll roll the tape for that. Legendary Chris, yeah. All right, so here are the packs that uh, that I picked up um, at trade night. We'll do the, eh, let's do the, the, these are all hobby uh, packs, so pretty excited about the odds, right? Because the odds are better with, with uh, hobby packs. Oh, there you go. Kikuchi, another one. Got a couple of those. Let's see, try to keep them in. Looks like I got uh, some type of foil. Let's hope it's a Tatis, but uh, I think black and white, maybe an Eloy, that would be nice. Chris Davis, nope, it's going to be a white sock, but who knows that, well, well somebody. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty cool. Fred McGriff, Evan Longoria, Blake Snell. Kind of weird because Evan's not with the team. I don't know how long Fred was with him. Hmm. Somehow I think they could have done better with the Rays. But I don't know a whole lot of the team history. I'm sure that the tops people did. So, got a Kikuchi in that one. Hoping for some color. Hoping for some color. Uh... I'm just, I'm just in the background putting all my Fortnite yep. cards away. Caleb's putting his cards away that he I'm opened for yeah, fa I'm still Father's still, Day. I'm still sitting right now. Eduardo Nunez. Oh, that's cool. Ryan Sandberg. 84 All-Star. Mm. Yeah, the photography is pretty awesome, so... Let me know if you all saw any short prints or anything that I kind of skipped over without paying much attention to it. Still trying to get a feel for what the short prints look like. I think I have most of them, but um, these jumbo packs. I really do want to eventually get a jumbo box, um, but gosh, it is <laughs> it's pricey. Yeah, it is. Nelly Cruz. That's a cool picture too. Every time I see that one, I think, man, that looks like an SP because it's just cool photography and it's that, you know, in the dugout shot that um, some of the variations have been. Oh, Patrick Corbin, Alex Verdugo, Ahmed Rosario, Michael Waka. Tanaka, Steve Pierce, that one too, like it's a cool photo of like him, Steve, Steve Pierce calling for time. And Albies, Future Stars, same guy I got, ooh, bam! Man, I didn't even see that bad boy lurking back there. So this is, uh, this is my first pack pull, Vlad, the third one that I own, but uh, first pack pull, so pretty stoked about that. Careful with the desk, buddy. Uh, yeah, don't worry. Um, Daniel oh, Megden. It's the mustache guy. I always remember him from that that wicked mustache. He's got a really cool tops. Uh, I think it's Heritage or Archives card that he really shows off. Oh wow, man! I'm just talking, running my mouth. Rod Carew, SP. Um, let's see. Is that? 
Okay, 31. So if you can see the code there, 31 is SP. 32 is SSP. All right. Wow, what a what a great pack. Viewers, I'm packing up. All right, thanks, thanks, Caleb. See you next video, <laughs> viewers. Um, that man, what a heck heck of a jumbo pack. Uh, the Rod Crew, I would imagine somewhere in the 10 to 15 range, and those flads are selling close to between 20 and 30. So, gosh, definitely got my money's worth out of this pack. It was uh, 13 bucks, Bryce Harper. Um, $13 for this pack. Man. Still escapes me is the Pete Alonzo. Um, goodness. All right, so quick recap of the stars of the shows. Rod Carew, we'll definitely get that sleeved up. Um, a Vladdy. And if those of you haven't seen it before, it's got no number on the back, which is weird because Tops literally could have put any number in the world. If they wanted to call it a short print, they could have put any number on it and it'd been okay. Uh, but here, Kikuchi. Pretty cool. They could have put 632 on that Vlad, and it would have been a more like, in my mind, legitimate, you know, card in the collection rather than looking like they just threw it in there last minute. All right. All right. So, um, as you can see, as I went through that video, I had to go back and do some edits on that video because I missed a vintage stock. I'd never gotten one in a pack, and that vintage stock actually came out of one of the regular hobby packs. Um, so I was pretty pretty stoked with the the vintage stock. Uh, I posted it up. You probably you saw it before uh, I even opened it because I posted it. I'm posting it for sale on on Instagram. But um, and then I pulled another Fernando Tatis. So we're up to three uh, right now. And then I got about five in a in a Padres break. And, and then definitely always looking for for uh, for more. Got some other big surprises on the on the Padre uh, 2019 Series 2 tip, but I'll wait for a future mail day. Um, so trade night was pretty cool though. Here was here was the spread they had, quite a bit of food, and then just uh, you can see there's there's a lot of folks, but they basically close up all the all the consignment bins and stuff like that, and uh, and uh, you know just eat and talk and trade and sell. Uh, so it's an opportunity to go there and sell some of your your card. So Calvin, the, own, the shop owner is a really cool guy. I watched a guy, Eric, buy a pack of def, uh, definitive, tw like 1200 bucks a box. And after he had already bought a uh, series two um, hobby box, which was like 65 bucks, which is pretty good, pretty good price. Um, I watched him rip through that. And then I watched him rip through the, through the definitive and here was the results. Uh, as you can see, he, he got a Vlad inscribed, um, and then, and then you can see everything else. Pretty cool. It was definitely something, uh, it was quite the experience, you know, watch YouTube videos and stuff of people opening high end products like that. But, uh, I'd never seen it in person, uh, where a guy just dropped down and spent, you know, 1200 bucks. How much of his money got back? I don't know, it's, but that's all pack ripping, you know? So, uh, pretty cool though. Pull my Fernando's up here. Bam. And he had opened another box after we had left. I left about 9, 9.15. Uh, I think some guys stayed there past that. So that was pretty cool. He, he pretty much, Calvin pretty much opens the shop and, and keeps it open until, you know, everybody really wants to go home. So that's, it's really cool. It's a unique opportunity that, uh, you know, hopefully he gets good business out of it as well. Because, you know, a lot of people are watching uh, what happened at trade night and, you know, guy a couple guys got really lucky at top's finest um one of them had i think a gold tatis auto i asked him about it but he's gonna he's gonna send it off and get graded so but it was really good uh missed my buddy rob there one of one of the other military guys that collects cards couldn't make it because of work but um yeah it's a good time it's re it's really interesting to meet people face to face that you socialize in in the facebook group so I had a great time, got some good stuff out of some packs, and then um, sold my uh, Mookie Betts tops update. I ended up, I bought it for 30, got it graded, came back a 10, and I sold it for 75. Um, but on the high end, if I'd have sold it at high at the high point, I think I could have got like 110. So I settled for 75. 
Uh, I also picked up a Vlad, you can see here, and, and the guy threw in an autograph, so that was pretty cool, threw in the autograph 84 variation card. Um, I worked out a trade with a guy named Chris for a couple Fernando Tatis Tops Finest, I'm sorry, Bowman Finest, and uh, some some 2014 Dodger Bowman cards that, uh, that he wanted, so that was pretty cool. And then I sold like a Bellinger 2017 Tops Update. Um, I'm trying to think what else I sold. Oh, I sold my, sold my Yelich, uh, rookie. It was a borderline and the guy knew it. He, he's, he was a good, a good grader. It was a borderline nine ten, And I really want to get a raw that will, that, uh, I'd be more guaranteed that would, that would, uh, get a 10. So I sold it. I think he's going to grade it. I asked him, you know, if he, he let me know what it come back, comes back as if it comes back a 10, I'm obviously going to be kind of bummed, but happy for him as well. But um, that was my trade night. It was pretty cool. I, I can't wait till, till they do the next one. Uh, it's, it's As you guys all know, it's a small community. So anytime you get together with other collectors, uh, like in a group like that, you know, it's a good time. Good to meet people and uh, talk about, you know, cards and who's doing well, what their thoughts are on prospects and value of things and getting different perspectives for them. So, um yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys, and uh, if you if you like the video, like it, throw some comments downrange, and, and we'll talk about some stuff, and uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Thank you guys. See you next time.